Hey, Scruffy, that floor I fixed, it's done now. Come pick it up. Oh, I can't come right now. My wife just made me a breakfast sandwich, and I gotta scarfle it down real quick. Then I'll be in to pick it up. That's fine, as long as you pick it up within the week. Okay, Terrell, I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, bye. Hey, Terrell, I'm here to pick up that blower. Ah, okay, great. Let me... What was wrong with it? It was simple. It was just I a... I that blower up at an auction about a year ago, and I haven't had any troubles with it. It's been a good little blower. You you don't probably see a lot of them in here, do you? Well, I actually... It's a good little blower. It does a great job. How, how much is the damage on it? Well, let's see. It came to... What would you uh, recommend that's a good brand to buy this? cheap and can take a lot of abuse. Yeah, that's the problem nowadays. They don't... You know, those egg sandwiches that my wife made... Yeah. Scruffy! Yeah. Would you stop interrupting me and let me finish? Uh, Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Uh, uh, uh. Echo here. Today's video is going to be on this here mower here, this 22-inch tough cut. But before we start the video... I need for you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and also check out our web store. All right, let's start the video. So let me tell you a little story about this mower. We repaired a customer's lawn tractor and when we went to drop it off, they said, get this thing out of here. We don't want it. Get it out of my shop or out of my garage or shed or whatever because I didn't drop it off. And uh, they brought it back, and the people didn't want it. Tires were flat, so I put air in them. So I kind of, kind of checked it over a little bit, and it's a tough cut, 22 inch, made by Gardenway. And if you know anything about this lawn equipment, that's Troy built before they got bought by MTD and then turned into a piece of crap, which they are today. So they took that Troy built name and just ran it right in the dirt, MTD did. So this is a real Troy built from Gardenway. This is the stuff you used to buy on TV. If you wanted to get like a Troy built, you'd have to, they had the commercials, remember? And then you'd call the number and you would order something like this. So they ordered this off of TV and I'm sure it wasn't cheap. So I checked it over a little bit. It doesn't have any kind of uh, wheel adjusters on it. You have to physically unbolt the wheels and put them in different slots to change the height. Same in the front. There's a bunch of different holes in those brackets on the front. But it's, it's basically a, a brush cutter is what it's supposed to be, a high wheel mower. It's self-propelled. It's got this kind of heavy duty bar in the front, bumper, and it's got just a big single blade on it. Big heavy blade. It don't have a flail blade on it. Or a swing blade. I think that's what they call it over there in Australia. There's a called swing blades on it. Because those two, uh, two lads from Australia that came to visit, they were, a lot of the mowers over there have, I think they, I think they're, I might be wrong. I think they were calling them swing blades because they swing out of the way. We call them flail blades here. So it looks like, let's see what year this thing is from. So let me look at the date code on it. And the first two digits are 87. So 1987. And it's a 13 cubic inch motor, so it's five horsepower. It's got electronic ignition, because it's 87 Magnetron. And it's got what's called, it's got a scrub kind of drive on it, or cog drive. So there's two, there's cogs in here that rub on the wheel. We're gonna pull this cover off after we can see if we can get it started and look at all that under there. 
but uh, it's got a lot of controls on it. Here's your throttle, stop, choke. Uh, here's your blade control. Pull this down and then push this forward and this is supposed to lock it in, but it doesn't appear to be working. So this, this mechanism here might be broken because this isn't locking in. But we'll take a look at that. And then here's your drive. So you would have to pull this down, lock this in to get it, the blade spinning, then pull this handle up, and then lock this down. And then it'll start driving. And then when you let go of this, it releases the drive. So you're gonna be constantly doing this while you're mowing if you want it to stop driving. And then when you let go of this handle, it would release the blade. So let's see if it's got any dinosaur syrup in it. And it's empty. There's not a, no, there's a little bit in there. So who knows, maybe it's got an oil leak. So we'll put some syrup in it. And let's take a peek in the tank. And it's got some old fuel in there. Looks like root beer. Let me sort some out. See what how it looks. Oh yeah, look at that nastiness. But other than that, the tank is it's not rusted. Like I said, it was in the in a garage or a shed. And let's take a look at the air cleaner. So we'll put some put some oil in it. And we'll uh, give it a shot of some dinosaur farts. And see if it'll start. Oh yeah, this is this is garbage. And I don't think I have one of these air filters. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just all falling apart like sponge cake. Put some whipped cream on that. Serve it to somebody. It's got a choke, not a primer. And it's getting full choke. So maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it will uh start and, and run on its own. Well, let me put some some dinosaur syrup in it. See if I can do this without making a mess. Who knows, maybe the motor shot. Or maybe they wanted to get rid of it because that control is broken for the blades. All right, another thing I noticed, it's got the original spark plug in it. Still got the paint on it from the factory. And this thing is stuck on there. Still got the original plug. Nice. Some dinosaur farts. Put it on choke. Oh yeah, there's a sticker on here that says, grass handle grip when full starting recoil starter. So already I'm not doing what it's saying. But I want you to grab it like this and like this. Woo! Oh ho! Spray some more farts in there. Give it a good shot of farts. Try to get that nastiness out of the tank. Put some dinosaur juice in there. Slosh that around. So this is a five horse vertical, just like the five horse horizontal. 
So it's still got that same kind of carburetor that bolts to the gas tank that's got a long tube that goes in there because it's got the fuel pump on this side. Here's the fuel pump, which would have a diaphragm in it. So it pumps the fuel out of the tank and deposits it into a little bowl where there's another pickup tube. And it's got an adjustable carburetor on it because there's an adjusting screw. And then it dumps it into that little bowl and then that picks up the fuel out of the bowl. And then it just, the fuel pump keeps pumping and recirculates the gas. And when it fills the bowl, there's a little notch and the gas just returns to the tank. So it works on that same principle as the five horse brakes and scrap them. That's got that gas tank where the carburetor mounts to it. So it's the same thing, just a vertical version. And if this don't work, then we'll have to clean the carburetor, I guess. Try to tilt it to one side. I'm sure that, that fuel pump diaphragm is probably hard as a carp. Oh yeah, lovely. Put some gas in it. Dinosaur juice. All right, we'll give it some more farts. See if we can keep it running on some farts. Maybe it'll purge that fuel out. start on its own. This thing is broke. It won't lock in. But when I engaged it easy, it did spin the blade. So this isn't locking in. 
I've dealt with these before back in the years. They have them on a lot of Sears mowers and it's basically for the drive. You would pull the bale down and then this would lock the drive in to self-propel. I did a little research on this a few minutes ago off camera to see if this part is still available. It is. It's $144 and they had one left on Park Street. I ain't paying no $144. Now another thing it could be is this may not be coming back far enough to lock this in. This handle might be bent. So I'm gonna try to tweak this handle. See, and I don't wanna break this plastic here either. Otherwise. And see if I can get this to, to come back farther, to lock in. If not, this thing is broken inside. We may have to take it apart. It should lock, and then this will return, and then when you let go, you should hear a click. All right, let's, let's take this cover off and see what we can find here. Let me get a screwdriver here. Let me see. It looks like we got a couple screws here on the side. And, oh, no, those screws go to a stiffener. Let's take these out first and see what happens. We got lucky. It ran and stayed running. That's two in a row now for me. The other one was on that uh, lawn keeper. All right, let me get, looks like a 3 8 and let's take that thing off and see what's going on. Again, this is probably why they didn't want it anymore. Maybe they found out how much that part was and Get rid of it. We don't use it anymore. It's 36 years old. All right, let's see what happens if I manually push this thing down and try to engage this. Oh, there, it locked in that time. Maybe I'm pushing it down too far. Or maybe you're not, pu maybe it's pushing it down too far. Oh yeah, it's pushing it down too far. See, it's locking in now. All right. So let's see something here. Got to bend something without trying to break this. Put a screw, a nut on there. We'll figure this out. So 
So we want to go down to about there and it locks in. If I go there, it don't lock in. Right about there. So, need need to take this handle off and, and put this in the vise and tweak it down because you're going to want to hold it down like this. You go like that, it doesn't work. But up here, it locks in. So I have to tweak this, take this, this handle out and tweak it. So I put it in the vise, it took quite a few tries, and I tweaked it. I'll hit this with some paint later. And then I went ahead and ground out the, the vise marks in there. But it's locking in now. All right, let's start it up. Let's fire it up. Stick it in this other hole. Bend this back. You know, these engines are supposed to run at 3600. Looks like somebody had this off back here. You know what I'll do? Just cut a couple of links off. That'll put more tension on it. Lots of different ways of raising the RPM. Just cut a few links off. Make it look nice. Still killing it. All runs. All right, I, 
I know I promised you I was going to take this cover off so we could look under there. And then I'll put an air filter in it. And then we'll take it out and we'll cut a little grass with it. So let me take that cover off so you can see under it. 5 sixteenths and a half inch, it looks like. Right, I'm going to pull this cover off. And oh, looks like Fluffy built a nest in there. Ooh, there's like a mummified Fluffy right there. But this is how this thing works under here. This is the mechanism. There's a big break here to stop this. We got a belt for the blade and here's the belt for the drive with a chain. Go into these cogs. So this is how you're able to back it up. Back it up, back it up. I think. No. So that's the drive. And then this is the blade engagement. I'll get a look down there when I engage it. Now I engage the drive. All right, so let me get that rat's nest out of there. I put an air filter in it. And uh, we'll go out. Come on, little guy. Time to go to your final resting place. Look at his teeth. That's pretty disgusting. I'm going to put him in his final resting place. Garbage can. He gave his life for this mower. All right, we're going to cut in here because this is supposed to be like a brush mower and we got some high grass in here. So I don't get chewed alive by Skeeter.
thing worked pretty good. Cut all right. I mean, for little brush mower. So what I was doing when I was driving it was I just hold this up and I would just run it like this, just enough to drive it. So I wouldn't have to keep letting go of this every time I locked it in. I mean, locking it in would be good if you were mowing a bunch of straight lines. But for mowing in here, you know, where you got to keep stopping with the drive, it was just real easy to just push the lever enough so it would rub on the tire, have plenty of traction. And then uh, I was able to mow and then stop and then mow and pull back on it. Not leaking oil. It runs good. So I'm going to take it back in the shop, give it a good pressure scrubbing, clean it all up, make it look good. Sell it. I don't want it. What am I going to do with it? I got a lawnmower shop. I got a lot and enough mowers. Another thing I forgot to mention on this here uh, top cut is it's the engine's rubber mounted. I don't know if you noticed that, grass rat. But yeah, this is a. Uh, I'm sure this thing was probably an '87. Probably seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. Well, look at it, grass rats. Cleaned up good. Looks like brand new. This customer that owned this probably didn't use it that much. And it didn't take much to get it going. And I uncovered the decal back here that says Gardenway on it. And it says it was made in Troy, New York. Because that's where Troy Built came from. It was built in Troy, New York. It was Troy Built. So this is the real deal. This isn't that MTD garbage. So like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell it. It's nice, everything works. I thought these controls at first, I'm like, eh, I don't know about all this. You got a lot going on here with this. But it works. Like I said, all you do is just push on that if you're in a tight spot. Or lock it in if you want to got long mowing to do. But you gotta have safety because people are stupid. And they'll hurt themselves or hurt somebody else. So yeah, oil, air filter. Didn't have to do the carburetor, it runs, it starts, starts every time. It's got plenty of power. Probably sharpened the blade. The blade was good, it wasn't that dull. I'll just put an edge on it. I wish I could get more stuff like this for free that doesn't need a ton of work to be done to it. So thank you to that customer that gave this to me. And again, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Tarot Fixes Off. If you like these videos, we got many of them. Check out our second channel, Terrell fixes all skits. Go to our web store. We got all kinds of stuff like this beautiful t-shirt, this gas and oil hat, spark plug necklaces, more tools, all kinds of stuff. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Man! Look at this thing. I got this thing back in May. I should have fixed it up back in the springtime. It would have been sold by now. That's all right. Somebody will buy it. And that somebody might be you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, Daryl. Next time my wife makes a couple of them breakfast sandwiches, I'll bring a couple over. You and Junior, scarf them down. Yeah, sure, fine, whatever. Here's the bill for the blower. $849? $849? The bill came to $56.73. Where'd you get $849? Right here. 849. That's what I see. Uh, I'll bring you one of them breakfast sandwiches, Terrell. And you can scarfle it down. 
and it'll make you feel all better. Uh, uh. <laughs>